Hey, guys, when I tell you that you can't make this stuff up, I really mean it. Our friends over at CNBC seem to have stumbled upon a plot straight out of a sci-fi thriller. But, oh, trust me, this isn't Hollywood. And some of the characters are actually familiar. Let's get into it. Hey, guys, welcome back. So the tranquil and beautiful Pacific island of Nauru. It sounds like a dream destination, right? But what if I told you someone wanted to turn it into an apocalypse bunker and a breeding ground for superhuman? I wish I was kidding. Enter Gabe Bankman Free. Does that name ring a bell? No? Maybe his big brother's name will. Sam Bankman Free, the uh, so called genius behind the stellar crypto exchange FTX. That is the same FTX which had a slight misunderstanding with Ukraine, who generously fund the Democrats' 2022 campaigns. Remember now? Sam Bankman Freed's FTX scam lost billions overnight, literally. And it seems like one by one, the DOJ is dropping all the charges against him because it's great to have friends in high places, right? They either have to do something to shut him up for all the illegal criminal activities that many Democrats were probably involved in with him, or they have to kill him, whichever is less messy. All right, but let's not get sidetracked. My past follies, right? The younger Bankman Freed, no less illustrious, clearly had plans. And not just any plans. He daydreamed about turning Nauru into a fortified state. And why? Well, to shelter his philanthropic friends and get this, to create a new race of genetically enhanced humans. In the event <laughs> we're up to 99.99% .99 of us kick the bucket. You know, casual planning here. Now, here's the cherry on top. Our ambitious island-buying buddy is also the founder of a group named, and I kid you not, Guarding Against Pandemics, or GAP. I mean, it's always good to have a backup plan, isn't it? But wait, there's more. There's always more. When asked about other potential uses for this sovereign island, our protagonist casually noted that owning a country might have its perks. The fuck's he talking about? Like Jeffrey Epstein fantasies? Ladies and gents, sometimes the truth is wilder than fiction. Who needs movies when we've got this real life crap going on, right? But it does make you wonder, like, what else don't we know about? All right, so that's it. Stay informed, stay vigilant. And as always, remember to read between the lines. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Where our hearts sometimes play chess